Good morning, guys. Good morning. And I am so glad that you are here with me today. Well, listen, I had to come into the garage to chit chat with you guys because of the fact that, yep, you you guessed it, it is raining. And I, I hate it. I don't show up in the house. I'm in the dark in the car. Just bear with me on today. But I want to let you know this one thing, that you were never really supposed to get out of that situation that that narcissist left you in. You were never supposed to get out of that situation that those abusers left you in. You got out and they mad today because you got out. Not only did you get out, but through the blood of our Savior and through the power of the Almighty, God put you back together right in front of the people that tried to break you. It isn't it something when your enemy have to sit there and watch God bless you. You have entered a season, not only of take it back, baby, but you have entered a season of restoration. I want to let you know that everything that somebody tried to come into your life to disrupt and destroy, you've entered into a season, a rebuilding season. And now the people who tried to stop you, the people that tried to block you, the people that treated you weird, the people that ignored you, the people that tried to prevent the highest version of you from manifesting because they feared that you would be better Better than them, that group, that person, that organization have to sit back and watch God bless you. Isn't it something when your enemy have to literally sit there and watch God bless you? Everything that they tried to do to prevent the manna from heaven from feeding you did not work. Every attempt that they used that they thought was a permanent thing that they did to keep you divinely disconnected from everything that you were supposed to have it did not work. Hell thought that it had you captive for the rest of your living days in this dimension. But because you believed in your faith, you believed in what God said about you. Even though they may have thrown you in a pit, maybe they threw you in a very dark place emotionally. Maybe they messed you completely up for a little while, but because of your faith and your consistency and your frequency and your lack of giving up because you were determined to hold on in the midst of things not making sense in your life. Now God God is blessing you. God was saying, all I ever wanted was to see if you was for real about me. All I ever wanted was to see if you were really serious about where I'm taking you. All I ever wanted was the time in the pit with you so that I could develop you. All I ever wanted was for you to believe in the unseen things that I promised you. All I ever wanted was for you to develop a spiritual ear so that you could hear what the Spirit of the Lord is trying to tell you. All I ever wanted was to take you from the middle of nothing, from a barren place to bless you so that I can get the glory. All I ever wanted, baby, was an opportunity to really, really, really get with you. Ha <laughs> ho! Like I was supposed to. I used your enemy to get you into a territory that you had no trust but sit down. See, sometimes we may feel because we're experiencing these things on the outside that it's punishment. But I heard the Lord say, it wasn't punishment, baby. It was preparation. I heard God say just now, your pain has a purpose. I heard him say right now, in order for you to have the power that I want you to have, I had to make things a little difficult on you so that you could learn how to pull a little bit deeper and develop into what I wanted you to develop into. Your enemy is mad today because they have to sit back and watch God bless you in front of them instead of them concentrating on what God can do for them. Instead of them worrying about how they can get their life right with God. Instead of them pouring in into things about themselves. They're so concerned about what you are doing that they missing the, the work of God that they could be having. They're missing the movement of God in their, life, in their lives because they are trying or have tried to destroy you. If they look at you stupid, let them keep on looking. If they act real crazy, don't even engage. If they try to block you, it ain't going to even stop you because what God has for you is for you. And now they have to sit back with gnashing the teeth, 
all up in their spirit. If they don't show on their faces, in their spirit. Because every attempt that they made to try to block your blessing and stop you and make your life a living hell, now they got to sit back and watch God bless you. And until the next video, guys, mwah, peace. Because God said, I'm going to get the glory, baby, even in the dark. All right, somebody. Bye now.